Boy, today we've got an arm blaster for you. The three exercises that we're going to work today, the seated dip, the dumbbell hammer curl, and a dumbbell tricep kickback. We're going to do three sets to focus on muscular endurance and aerobic conditioning with little or no break in between each set. That is what is called extreme conditioning. Right now, we're going to get started with our first set. All right, guys, so let's get ready for the seated dip. You want to make certain that you've got a slight bend in your knees, heels are really rooted in there, you've got a neutral spine, back is straight, and we're going to focus on the triceps for the first exercise. 20 repetitions. Ready? Begin. You don't want to go so fast that there's a jerking movement of any kind. You want to make certain that you can maintain neutral spine where the back is perpendicular to the ground, a few inches away from the bench as you do it. You want to exhale on the way up and breathe in on the way down, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Notice there's no fast jerking motion right here. This is nice, it's fluid, graceful. That's the way to do it. You're almost done here, so let's do a countdown from five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, go ahead and sit on the bench. Let's grab those dumbbells and let's get right to the biceps exercise. All right, so they're going to stand with, in a neutral position where their feet are shoulder width apart and toes forward. Lock those elbows into their rib cage for the dumbbell hammer curl. Begin. We're going for 20 repetitions again. The key mistake made on this exercise is a lot of times that elbow will shift forward or go behind the rib cage. You want to lock it in that it's almost attached right there at the rib cage. Exhale on the way up, breathe in on the way down, in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're focusing on now on the front part of the upper arm. That's the primary, those biceps. Going for 20 repetitions. We're almost done here. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to stay in this position, but for the triceps kickback, we're going to hold both of these dumbbells. Hinge forward at the hips first, guys. Slight bend in your knees. Now, let's get you in that right position right about there. Elbows up behind you and maintain that back, back position. Begin. Now. Whatever you got left on your triceps, here's where you're going to cook them off. You try and make certain that that elbow stays as high as possible so that the upper part of the arm is parallel to the ground at all times. Exhale on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Oh, I know these guys are working it now. I know their arms are just screaming. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Okay, let's get the dumbbells down, back in the floor. Round two, we're doing three sets. If you want more than just a 10-minute workout or so, then you can probably do four or five sets. But I think our arms are going to really feel it even after three. Round two, here we go. Begin. Now look at these guys, look at these guys. That slight bend in the knees is really for protection. You know, in case you do slip or fall, you've at least got your legs to leverage you to keep you in a very safe and effective workout. Back is still perpendicular to the ground. Looking good, guys. Remember, we're focusing on the triceps right now. Look at that. That's awesome. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Shake off those hands before you grab those dumbbells. Good. All right. Now, let's stand. Sturdy. Good. Feet, shoulder width apart, toes forward. Lock those elbows into your rib cage. 20 reps. Go. Good job, guys. Now we're going to the other side of the upper part of the arm. We were on the back. Now we're working on the front. We're really working on those biceps right now. Sculpting, 20 reps. Anything that's over 10 reps, we're going for that muscular endurance phase, that sculpting phase. It's still strength building, but definitely it's a way of sculpting the body. Five, four, three, two, one. One, time to go to the back part of the upper arm again. Hinge forward, a little more right here, got it? Perfect, good, awesome. Now, get those elbows up behind you, and 20 reps, kick back. Go at your own rate. You never want to have a jerking motion at all. Exhale on the way back. Breathe in when you go down, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe naturally and deeply at all times. By now, this is really the climactic part of this little quick fix workout. They're feeling it. Their arms are just burning right now. Then you know you're doing it right. Five, four, 
three, two, one. All right, let's put the dumbbells down, guys. You got room for one more? Can we handle it? All right, good, awesome. And look it, this is taking no time at all. So don't say you don't have time, because you do have the time. Last set, three exercises. Begin. Even after all these exercises, all these multiple repetitions, they're still maintaining really great form. I hear the breathing, it's picked up, heart rate's up, they're exhaling on the way up and breathing in on the way down, in through their noses and out through their mouths. These guys are doing a great, great job. Go to muscle failure if you have to. Do the best that you can. Three, two, one. Relax. All right. Two more exercises, guys. That's it. You're doing a great job. All right. Get in that right position. Make certain there's always a slight bend in your knees, even when you're standing up. Promote circulation. All right. Hammer curl. Ready? Begin. Good job, guys. Keep those elbows locked into your rib cage. Again, we're focusing now on the front part of the arms, those biceps. And since we're doing multiple repetitions, what we're doing right now is we're working on that sculpting, that muscular endurance, and the aerobic conditioning at the same time because we're doing three sets with little or no break. Three, two, one. The final exercise. All right, so let's get in that right position. Hinge forward at the hips, elbows back, whatever you got left, let's use it. Go. Good stuff, guys. Awesome job. Get those elbows up. Get those elbows up. You can do this. Don't give up. Don't give up. This is all about just burning the arms out. This is the best thing that I could think of for making yourselves those sculpted arms you've always wanted. Awesome. A little bit left. Five, four, three, two. One, relax, dumbbells down on the ground. Shake it off your hands. How do you feel? Great. Great. Awesome job. And that's all it takes to really get the sculpted arms that you've always wanted. Stay the course. Our exercises today are great for scapular retraction or exercises that just improve the posture. We're going to be doing some back extensions, we're going to be doing some deadlifts, and we're also going to be doing some wide dumbbell rows. Are you all ready for this? It's extreme conditioning at its best, so go ahead and get on your bellies for the first exercise. Extreme conditioning means little or no break in between each set. Clasp your fingers behind your head. We're going to do those back extensions first. 20 counts, slowly begin. Now the reason why it's called extreme conditioning is because we're going to take little or no break in between each set. This is a perfect opportunity for us to get that maximum effect, that calorie burning, so that in a short period of time, we can do in 10 minutes what would normally take 30 or 40. Beautiful work, you two. Exhale on the way back, breathe in on the way down. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Almost there. Five, four, Three, two, one. Release the hand grip. Push off with your hands so you come up without straining your back. Now watch your step. We're going to do the dumbbell deadlift and the barbell deadlift. An amplification and a standard. The modification, no weight at all. All right, so reach down, get the right grip. You're already ready. 15 count, 20 count, ready, begin. Good. Now notice over here on the amplification, you don't want to come up so straight that you're leaning back with that particular movement. You want to make certain that you're still coming up with a slight bend in your knees to promote circulation, never arching backward, neutral spine at all times. Perfect example of how to do this exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. You stay right there, Corby. Jordan, grab your dumbbells, and let's both do some rowing exercises now. All right, so hinge forward, keep the bend in your knees, and let's row. Awesome, good. Pull those elbows back, pull them back, pull them back. There you go. Beautiful, Jordan. Tilt the head a little bit more forward. That's it. That keeps neutral spine. And remember, those shoulder blades go into the back pockets. That's how you make that straight back. Beautiful job. Exhale on the way back, breathe in on the way down in through your nose, out through your mouth. Two of you look great. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the dumbbells in a safe spot. Y'all ready for round two? 
Hey, you're just getting into it. That's right. Good. Let's get down to our bellies. Get comfortable. Fingers clasping behind your head. 20 count. No jerking motion. Ready? Begin. What I really love about the way they're performing this exercise is that they're not pulling back so hard that there's a stuttering action of any kind. And that's exactly what you want out of this exercise. Focus on the lower back. Exhale on the way back. Breathe in on the way down. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the hand grip. Push off with your hands. Watch your step, Jordan. And let's go ahead and let's go to the deadlifts. Get yourself ready. We'll be using dumbbells over here and the barbell over here. The amplification, the standard, modification, no weights at all. Ready? Begin. Good. Jordan, good job on the form. You too, Corby. Perfect. Awesome. Bend as low as you can go without compromising form. Form is everything. That's the, the safety factor. Looking good. Keep that breathing deep, deep and intense, natural. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Corby, stay there. You release carefully. Grab your set of dumbbells. We're going to go right to the rowing exercise and get that back blaster workout we've always wanted. All right, ready? Hinge forward. Begin. Good. Pull those elbows back. Pull them back. There you go, Corby. Awesome job. Good. And keep that back straight. Looking real good. There. Awesome. Breathe. Exhale on the way back. Breathe in on the way down. Looking good. That's the way it should look. Looking good. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the dumbbells in a safe spot. Are well, you ready for the final round? Yeah, let's do it. All right. And if at home you got more than 10 minutes, try four, five sets. Right now, we're just going for that quick fix workout, extreme conditioning style, little or no break in between each set. The final round. Ready? Begin. Good. Look at that. Right away, we've got this graceful motion. It's not so fast that there's a jerking motion at all. It's nice. It's graceful. This is the way it should look. Pull back even a little more if you can, buddy. How far you pull back? Well, if you compromise form, you've pulled back too far. This is looking great. Go to muscle fatigue or muscle failure. That's what it's all about. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the hand grip. Push off with your hands. Watch your step, Jordan. Let's go right to our deadlifts. Last set of the deadlifts. Line yourselves up. The standard, the amplification. This is the way it's going to look. Ready? Begin. And notice, as soon as I said begin, they go right to their breathing techniques. They're exhaling at the point of exertion. That means for this particular exercise, they're exhaling on the way up and breathing in on the way down. In through their noses and out through their mouths. Awesome. Look how reached, look how bending. This bending is so low. It's, and it's more than a squat, but not so much that there's unwarranted strain in the knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Corby's going to keep the dumbbells. Now Jordan's going to pick up a set and match her. Last exercise, hinge forward. Get those elbows high and ready. Begin. Awesome. Awesome. All right, let's roll those shoulders back. Relax those shoulders. There you go. Nice correction. Good. See how we're doing over here, buddy. Push down in here so we got that straight back. Yeah, there you go. Tilt that head a little forward. Good. Remember, just focus on that upper back. Focus on the upper back. Almost there. Exhale on the way back. Breathe in on the way down. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Put it back in a safe position. Shake off your hands. How do you feel? Your backs feel good? <laughs> that's the way it should feel. And that's all it takes to get that back blaster workout, working the entire back as well as some other muscles in our bodies as well. Extreme conditioning style. It means little or no break in between each set. Stay the course. We're going to need a set of dumbbells for the three exercises that we're going to work today. We're going to do dumbbell step-ups, 
dumbbell squats and dumbbell side lunges. You want to grab a weight that's either medium to lightweight each. All right, for that first exercise, the dumbbell step up, we're going to supercharge our heart rate and we're going to work our quadriceps and our deltoids at the same time. So let's pick up these dumbbells face the bench. It's approximately 18, 24 inches off the ground. You know, 12 is, 12 is also an acceptable height. Whatever foot you want to start off with, as long as you step up with both feet planted and then step back down slower than you went up. Ready? Begin. Now immediately as you start to do this exercise, you're going to feel your heart rate pick up and pick up and pick up. So what you want to do is focus on the breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Exhale on the way up, breathe in on the way down. But as the speed picks up and you're performing this exercise, you're just going to have to do it maybe every other repetition if you're controlling that breathing. Good. Make certain the dumbbells are about two to four inches away from the legs so they don't bang up against the thighs. We're about five, four, three, two, one. Now, leave those dumbbells in your hands. We're going to go right to the squat. Face each other. Might be a nice way of you know competing against each other. And let's give another 20 count. Begin. Now, as you're doing the squat exercise, you want to make certain that you stick your tailbone far behind you as you do this. That'll maintain neutral spine. Good job, Corby. And again, two to four inches away with the dumbbell so they don't rub up against your legs. Good job, Jeremy. That's it. Keep going. Maintain neutral spine by sticking that tailbone far back behind you as you go down and exhale on the way up breathe in on the way down in through your nose out through your mouth and five four three two one now the next exercise is a side lunge we're going to start by going toward the front are you ready good all right let's do this begin now you want to make certain that you don't put any unwarranted strain on the knee that's bending by doing that, you want to maintain neutral spine and notice that the foot position is always going to be squared off, meaning that as much as you can, bring those toes pointed forward. And as you're slotting those dumbbells, one onto the inside and one to the outside, still two to four inches away from the legs, now we're working the side part of our legs, our piriformis, our gluteus minimus and medius, we're just working everything in our body right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the dumbbells on the bench just for a few seconds. All right, shake off the hands. Round two, round two, three full sets. And if you want to do more at home and just make it better, then go for it. But pick up the dumbbells again. Step up time. Remember, fully step up. Stand up on the platform and stand back down. Ready? Begin. Again, we're going for a 20 count on repetitions. We're on round two. We're going to do three sets for this particular workout. And if that happens, if you catch it on the way up, don't worry about it. Just remember, focus on stepping up and stepping down safely and effectively each time. They're about halfway through, so we're going to give a 10 count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Good. All right. Let's get ready for that standard squat. Face each other again. All right. You ready? Begin. Remember, don't compromise your form. If you start to compromise your form, then you might have gone already gone as far as you can go. And then maybe try it again next time. But we're going for 20 repetitions per exercise and three full sets. If you want to do four or five and make it a longer workout, that's just more calories burned. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold on to those dumbbells. Now we're doing the side lunges. Ready? Going to the front first. Begin. Good. And remember, two to four inches away with those dumbbells so they don't bang against your legs. You two are doing a great job at maintaining proper form. Keep those legs so that the feet face in neutral position, facing forward. Good job. You're about halfway through on round two. Heart rate starting to pick up. We're working every single muscle in our body, and by holding those dumbbells, we're making it even harder. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's put the dumbbells back on the bench. Shake off the hands. Y'all ready for round three? 
I know you are. All right, so let's do this. Pick up the dumbbells again, get a good grip, square yourself off, and remember, step fully up and fully down, 20 count, 20 count, begin. Now, I can already hear that their breathing has picked up, and that means they're doing it right. They're still maintaining a natural breathing in through their nose and out through their mouths deeply as they can. You want to always exhale at the point of exertion. For this particular exercise, it's when they're going up. Good job, you two. We're going to give a countdown from five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're going to keep those dumbbells in our hands. We're going to do standard squats facing each other. 20 count again. 20 count again. Ready? Begin. Good. Don't compromise your form. Stick your tailbone back behind you. Every time you go down, bring that tailbone back, and that'll keep your neutral spine position. Good. Two to four inches away with the dumbbells so they don't bang up against your knees or your thighs. Good job, you two. Breathe deeply. Exhale on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. Feel your deltoids burning and your quadriceps and your thighs. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. One, the final exercise, the side lunge. Going to the front first. Square off. Ready? Begin. Again, we're going for a 20 count. If you want to intensify this workout, do a little more. And instead of just a quick fix workout, you can do four sets, five sets. It's purely up to you. Notice they're still maintaining proper form. Feet pointed forward as much as possible to not put in any warrant, unwarranted strain on the knees. We're about halfway through. They're breathing deeply. They're exhaling on the way up and breathing in on the way down as much as possible. Five, four, three, two, one, and put the dumbbells on the bench. Shake it off. How do you feel? Good. How do you feel? You should feel good. And if you stick to that, you're going to feel that your muscular endurance and your aerobic conditioning are going to be at a new level each time. Stay the course.